Hey, what's up guys, Majetti? So, sticking with the fitness topic this week, we're going to be looking at the top five myths about weightlifting. All right, number one, exercise can erase my bad eating habits. Oh, man, I see this all the time. There's always guys that are like, you know what, man? I want to lose weight, okay? Look, I even have one of my friends who's literally doing this. Okay? I'm not going to tell you his name, um, but when he watches the video, he's going to know. Literally, he'll be like, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm like, great, what are you doing? And dude's literally eating five guys and baskin robins and pizza and mcdonald's and i'm all like man that's a, that's tons of calories man like are you, are you really trying to lose weight he's all like yeah yeah yeah. i'm like i'm walking more i'm working out and i'm all like oh my god give me a break i was like dude this is not how it works you cannot outwork a poor diet but on the other hand you can out diet a poor workout okay what does that mean of course if you're if you're trying to get big it's not going to work out but then if you're trying to lose weight you're able to lose more weight by getting on a better, better diet and not working out as much. It does work. Sure, you're not going to be able to put on as much muscle or keep as much muscle as you would if you were actually working out. But yes, it, it does happen where you can just eat less and you're going to be able to lose weight. Okay, now if you're trying to get bigger, totally different story. you got to work out to build that muscle. Cool. Uh, number three. Women need different exercises than men. Women should lift lower weights and do higher repetitions than men. But this is a bunch of BS, okay? Um, I see this all the time. People always are out on, like, his blogs, on, uh, what's that place called? Bodybuilding.com. Where they're just like, oh, man, you know, like, I'm, I'm a woman. What do I do? I, I see this for the guys. What's the women's version? Like, that's not, that's not none of that stuff. Want to lose weight? Eat less. Work out. High repetitions. If you want to put on size, put on a bunch of mus muscle, Caloric surplus, higher reps, or not higher reps, higher weight, lower reps. Simple, okay? Put into effect, and if you're literally saying, oh, I'm on a caloric surplus or deficit and it's not working, you're lying to yourself. Like, that's just impossible, okay? That's just, like, biologically impossible. Literally, just go back to your calories and take a look, and you'll know, okay? And then just start minusing calories. And as long as you're not eating below, like, 1,800 calories, you should be fine. All right, cool. Um, number, number two, three, or number two. I can just tone my muscles. Oh, man, this is also a really, really good one. People think they can just tone it, right? Like, like they'll be like, okay, yeah, my muscles, yeah, I'm just going to make it, like, perfectly symmetric. I can just tone them. You know, I can just make them, uh, I can, I can just make my arm look perfect. Like, none of that stuff. You can grow your muscle. You can lose your muscle, okay? Toning your muscle does not exist, okay? It's just about growing or reducing. You should always stretch before exercising. It's also a big myth. Uh, not true. Yes, it does help you get really, really mobile. But sometimes it could be it could be for the worst, too. Just be careful how you're doing it. Don't overdo the stretching. You might get sore from stretching, and then you won't be able to lift, which just sucks. So before you exercise, definitely, if you like it, stretch for a little bit. But if you don't like it, don't have to stretch. Just warm up during your workout. Don't just go all out, right? Just start slow and then warm up, and that should just kind of help you out. Okay, um, the last one, probably the most popular one. I can reduce fat in one area, slash I can spot reduce fat. Very, very wrong. You cannot spot reduce fat, not how it works. Your fat storage, your fat storages are all combined. You can't just say, you know what, I'm going to do a bunch of push-ups and then my chest fat is going to go. I'm going to do a bunch of crunches and then my my, my belly is going to go. It's just not how it works, okay? The only way you can reduce fat is by getting on a caloric deficit and then hitting your whole body, okay? And yes, some people lose their fa uh, face fat, their chest fat, their neck fat, whatever fat that they lose first. Usually you start with the lower body, the place that you don't like. And then it will eventually get to those uh, spots where you wanted to lose more weight. But that stubborn fat, you gotta work. Uh, you gotta you gotta work pretty hard to lose that stuff, right? And it's not easy, but you know, just how it goes. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you, so much. Thank you guys for so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Until then, stay tuned. Bye.